Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with Day Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for a little bit of a different video today, guys. And the first thing you guys are probably wondering is why you're watching Forza Horizon 3 in the background. I will get to that in a second, but we're going to be talking about the newly announced Xbox Scorpio and all the specs and stuff like that that came out the other day. And uh, the reason you're watching Forza Horizon 3 was it was the actually the only example they actually gave us at the press conference, or I should say the video that they put up talking about the Scorpio. And it was a Xbox One version of Forza Horizon 3 that was ported over to the Xbox Scorpio running on the Xbox Scorpio engine fully upgraded to run native 4k and it looked amazing i'm going to put that screenshot up on screen right now and it looks so good with just the draw distance and all the textures and when you zoom in and everything like that it's just very very vibrant very clear very high def it looks amazing and like i said this is a ported version of forza horizon 3 from the xbox one to the xbox scorpio so it is not a true fully developed game specifically for scorpio so the games on the scorpio are actually going to look much better than this but uh, we're just going to kind of get into the specs a little bit here guys and i know there's some ps4 pro and pc players out there don't hate on the video guys i am not particular to any console and i don't you know highly defend my console i'm cool with all consoles i'm a pc gamer as well but we're just going to jump into the specs here real quick, and I am going to be comparing the Xbox Scorpio to the PS4 Pro to start off. And the CPU on the Project Scorpio is 8 custom 86 cores clocked at 2.3 gigahertz, and the PS4 Pro has 8 Jaguar cores clocked at 2.1 gigahertz, so it's not quite as quick. The PS4 Pro is not quite as quick as the Xbox Scorpio. And then the GPU is a 40 customized compute units at 1172 megahertz. And the PS4 Pro only has 36 improved GS, uh, GCN compute units at 911 megahertz. So it's not quite as quick. It's not quite as powerful as what uh, the Xbox Scorpio has for a GPU. And then on the memory standpoint, we have 12 gigabits of GDDR5 RAM in the Xbox Scorpio, which is a lot higher than the PS4 Pro. The PS4 Pro only has 8 gigabits of GDDR5 RAM. And with the extra four gigabytes, it's 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 going to be a big difference. It's going to help out with a lot of the stuff on the system. It's going to help it be able to load everything and stuff like that. So it's going to have a little bit more of that. Memory bandwidth, um, the Xbox Scorpio is running at 326 gigabytes per second. The PS4 Pro is actually only at 218 gigabytes per second. So that's, that's a big upgrade on the Xbox Scorpio compared to the PS4 Pro. Both consoles are running a one terabyte, two and a half inch hard drive. So you're not going to have any advantages there. I'm sure they're going to have a Scorpio that's going to be upgradable, or it's going to be a separate one. That's going to have two terabytes or even more with the way digital games and stuff are nowadays. I would clearly see a bigger hard drive for the Scorpio, um, with another version of it. And then last but not least, one of the cool features that the Xbox Scorpio has that kind of sets it apart from the PS4 Pro is it has a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player that the PS4 Pro only has a standard Blu-ray player. So you're going to be able to watch the Ultra HD videos on your Xbox Scorpio, which is really, really cool. Honestly, I am really, really excited about the Scorpio. I know the price tag is probably going to be upwards of 500 plus, but overall, it's such a better console. I wouldn't even call this like... When the PS4 went to the PS4 Pro, a lot of people just called it a system upgrade. The Xbox One to the Xbox Scorpio is not an upgrade. It is a brand new, a lot higher performance console that it does not count as an upgrade. It is a much more powerful console. And it's one of a one of a brand new generation of consoles that's going to be very, very powerful. And one of the other cool things that I'm going to touch on here real quick, it is the first console, first home console ever to have a vapor chamber. So... It has a system inside that uses advanced liquid cooling to ensure the Scorpio engine and all its parts inside stays running at a, a safe temperature. So this is the first console that's ever had to do this. And honestly, I'm excited about that because if they got to put liquid cooling in a console, that means it's packed full of very powerful parts that's going to generate a lot of heat. So that's just better for us fans that like to play games. It's going to make the games look a lot better. And honestly, I'm really excited to see what this thing looks like. You basically got to see the internal parts of it and what it looks like on the inside, but we actually didn't get to see what it's going to look like on the outside. From what I've heard, they're going to be comparing it really closely to the size of the Xbox One S, which is really, really good because the original Xbox One is very big and bulky, and I actually still have it sitting on my desk. I have the Day One Edition, and it does take up a lot more space than the Xbox One S, so it is going to be nice to have a smaller console. But honestly... 
that's pretty much all for the video guys if you guys enjoyed it you guys found it helpful you guys are excited about the xbox one project scorpio i should say xbox project scorpio leave a like on the video guys it would be much appreciated also if you guys are new around here make sure to subscribe to keep up to date on all the scorpio news as it comes out i will be trying to cover this to keep you guys all informed on everything that there is to know about it thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you guys later peace out